Joe put together, Joe Cower put together the um, traffic mitigation and improvements along fit, uh, Highway 50, Route 50, um, the north end. Um, you know, we, we kind of talked about this earlier in one of the, I think it was a February meeting. Um, but, um, you know, the challenge is to change, you know, heavy traffic coming into Bridgeville, kind of a, a blighted corridor, unwelcoming gateway to the community. Um, you know, tangential or related areas that should be considered for full solution. Um, create a specific revitalization multi-municipal uh, traffic improvement plan to improve traffic flow into Bridgeville from Collier Township. Um, project areas starting uh, in Collier Township at Mayor Street um, to at least Bower Hill Road in Bridgeville suggested possible four lanes or traffic two in each direction into to Bower Hill with dedicated turn lanes into Presley Road and Bower Hill Road. Um, suggested concept of extending the existing railroad trestle, existing bridge over Chartier's Creek would also considered, be considered to make room for additional travel lanes, need, work, need to work with Collier Township as uh, multiple exits from the shopping center are also a major source of the problem. Um, when roadway is being constructed, improve the aesthetics of the North Gateway with new sidewalks, ornamental lighting, new welcoming, way, uh, wayfinding signage, blah, blah, blah. Um, essentially continuing downtown streetscape into to the Collier border. Um, to capitalize on the infrastructure investment, consider rezoning Washington Avenue from Collier border to Bower Hill Road to not permit car sales lot or repair facilities. Zone properties for either commercial activities um, consistent with Kerwin Heights or, or downtown or either highly densely, high or, or either high density residential mixed to encourage more of a downtown feel throughout. Potential solution, improved gateway with additional travel lanes to facilitate travel, traffic to primary side streets um, of both Bower Hill Road and Presley, better utilize, better usage of commercial properties along to the local tax base and move it, and more welcoming gateway to the community, improving property values, perception, and marketability of the borough. Um, as far as uh, solution partners and, and funding possibility, uh, Bridgeville Borough, Collier Township, SPC, uh, PennDOT, Chartiers Valley Flood Authority, Railroad, uh, Majority Property Owners, Utility Providers, Chartiers Valley Shopping Center. Um, funding, Commonwealth, uh, PennDOT, possible overseas regional funding request, um, lobby elected re representatives, both municipals, both municipalities, CDBG, I'm not sure what that is, and county gaming grants. Um, possible first steps for a solution, um, joint request, uh, call your in Bridgeville to PennDOT traffic engineer for partnership to create a draft traffic improvement plan. Maybe some of the design work could be done by PennDOT. Um, if not, council should consider increases in the engineering budget next year to start necessary design work. Start now seeking with the same with Collier commissioners. Um, future steps, develop formal engineering solutions, um, plan even if the Plan is extreme, such as removing structure in the, in the corridor, seek grant funding work, municipal, multi municipal, um, leveraging additional support and consideration, and recommend the project be designed and built in phases so that it is manageable to secure funding and realistic, realist, realistic action steps. Anticipated value is large. Um, Potential budget implication, uh, implications are large also. Um, I think this is a, a, a good, um, uh, one of the, a, a good project to, to start maybe um, biting our teeth into and, and um, you know, it's obviously gonna be a long-term, a long-term plan, but 
is something that, that the planning commission could probably move forward with um, and, and look at. Commissioners? I mean, I mean, right off the bat, your big partner would be Collier because you would be sharing this project with them. And they are, you know, I know that currently they are on board with uh, addressing this because it's a problem for them just as it is for us. So they would like to see something happen um, at that at the bridge uh, coming down from Chartier's Valley or actually from Great Southern all the way down to, into Bridgeville. So. Um, I mean, there's a, there's the conversations have already started. Mike, do you want to talk about the task force Don started? Yeah, sure. Uh, one, uh, one of the, I'm sorry. You're good. You know, As it, who's talking? Go ahead, Mike. Um, yeah, there, uh, uh, there one commissioner from Collier, she already contacted me and Joe, um, and has support uh, from from their commissioners to start a conversation, you know, to start working on uh, how we, you know, basically how we did it for the South End and looking at how we work with South Fayette to get that project done. They wanted to kind of duplicate that on the North End uh, with the bridge project and increasing the capacity of the bridge uh, to in figuring out how to, you know, uh, fix the traffic problem that they have and that we have. Uh, one nice thing is we both we share the same engineering firm, so uh, we we had them come to a meeting. Uh, we invited our we invited our state representative and had a uh, representative from our state senator at the meetings as well um, to kind of give us hey you know where we're at with the meeting you know where we're at with the project what we still need to do um, you know we're it's a long way off. Uh, there still needs to be, you know, we haven't, I don't think we have contacted PennDOT yet, you know, just like we did with uh, the South End, you know, we kind of got together with our task force and figured out what we wanted. And then we presented it to PennDOT um, and then got the ball rolling that way. Um, so, you know, we're in the initial stages, um, but we're, you know, it's, uh, the, the ball is rolling and there is cooperation there, which is a nice thing. Good. This is, this is Bill. Um, Couple roadblocks, uh, and, and Mike's right to call your commissioners are on board. There's a um, there's a reduction in funding for projects like this, uh, and, and uh, both the senator and the uh, representative warned us of that. So, to get more attention from PennDOT, we've got to make it a bigger uh, regional type of issue, and that's where the time comes into play. You, you tying Tom's run into it, you know, not just coming down Kmart Hill, as I'll call it, or Presley Road, they, they said you have a better chance if you can make it a much larger issue and, and make it a regional thing. So, uh, again, Mike's right. Uh, you know, we share a, an engineer, and that's great. I think getting both of them talking, uh, or, you know, both communities talking through their engineer. The question I would, do you guys from a planning commission, do you guys interact or, or communicate with, say, Collier's planning commission at all? Have you heard anything about their plans down there? Haven't. Haven't no. had any interaction with them. Okay. Maybe, maybe that's something we could start. No. Um, yeah, you know, again, as Mike said, you know, there's, an, there's a general interest, I think, from, uh, from both commissioners over there and the council here, uh, and obviously you guys are, are looking at it. If we could get everybody on the same page there and, and maybe push the envelope with the senator and the commissioner, uh, the representative, uh, maybe we could force her hand a little bit to, to try to find some money for us. I, I know that. Go ahead, Joe. I know that one of the concerns Collier has is obviously you got these big shopping centers and, and that drives some of their income that comes into their budgets. And, you know, they want to have these places uh, for people to want to go to the, the shopping. And, you know, sometimes that hill is, is the hill that, people try to stay away from near Bob Evans all the way down to the chamber building. So uh, that's, I know Dawn personally, and that's kind of how she and I were just talking. We saw each other one day and we just started talking about it. And this was last year sometime. That's when we uh, um, sat down with Mike and in uh, the last meeting, I think we had with the uh, representatives. Uh, that's when Bill uh, was involved too. And we, it, 
it's a long, long term project, but it, it's it's good that you're at least having some conversations about it. Uh, yeah, and it's it's one of those things. Yeah, it's going to be a long term project, but it's it's you know now's the time to be starting to think about. Well, ten years ago was the time to start thinking about it, but it, it's time to you know um, take a look at it and, and maybe push it along a little bit. At least get it on the get it on the vision of the the planning commission and the, the council. Well, and not to belabor, but when you start talking about maybe their planning commission too, somehow they were able to get the, uh, the conception of uh, a sheets and a, <laughs> another wedding facility that's going up there and, and tying in the, uh, you know, the reorganizing of, of uh, vanadium onto the 79. That's all going on and, and really only going to increase traffic coming into that area. So somehow in the middle, you know, we got to get connected there. Yeah. Okay. Planning commissioners, anything else? I have nothing. Okay. Um, we're running short on time here. Um, I, I want to open it up, have time to open it up to, for public comment. Tim, if you don't mind, we'll, we'll save yours for next month. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see, Pat, you were on first, you got, sure. Um, regarding parking, uh, there is permit parking presently in Bridgeville. The parking authority administers it. Uh, uh they administer permits for both on street parking and permit parking in the parking lot. Um, so it is, uh, it is being done. Um, as far as parking to take the bus, you know, that that issue goes back 30 years, 30, 40 years. Um, and it's sort of a, it, it's sort of there, but recently, and I, I just don't, I don't find a whole lot of people coming to either council meetings or planning or parking authority regarding people that are parking to take the bus. That might exist, but I'd like to find an actual complaint. Um, historically it's been there, but with the park and rides that have been developed and with South Hills Village and the T, I think that that has decreased the amount of the number of people that are parking and taking the bus. Uh, the larger issue I would submit to you is the expansion of parking. Um, and that is where I would hope that the planning commission would find a place, especially in the north end of Washington Avenue to expand parking. The parking authority administers parking. They have a search committee. Laura Dekelwa heads it. It has not been it has not been able to find a spot for parking in Bridgeville for several years. Um, and uh, you know, I think the planning commission could help by saying, you really want to go and put parking here because that will allow the community around that area to thrive. You talk to, uh, you look at Joe Cower's plans or a presentation on the North End, you look at a partnership with Collier Township, that all ties into the North End. Um, and, uh, you know, I would point out that one of the first steps is taking that uh, that engineer and perhaps splitting the bill to update the, uh, the traffic uh, plan that Mike Haberman at Gateway prepared you know, many years ago, which is a good foundation to, that the borough may start with um, in a partnership with Collier and uh, maybe split the cost of updating that. So that was it. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. You know, and, and we will um, we will certainly be busy Hello. with this again and, and fine-tuning it, mm -hmm. you know, as, as we go along. Hmm. <clears throat>